My name is Dr. Charles Wood. I'm Associate Professor of Voice and Opera in the Music Department. And um, I teach private voice to all the different degree plans with two other colleagues. And then I'm responsible for the opera productions. We do an opera scenes concert in the fall, and we do a full production in the spring with orchestra. The opera that the scene was taken from is Hamlet, by, uh, set by uh, Thomas, a French composer of the 19th century. He rearranged Shakespeare's story a little bit, trimmed out about 20 players, and uh, rearranged some of the lines. Of course, it's in French. And this is a trio uh, that happens right after Hamlet has decided to kill the king, who of course was responsible for his father's death, who was formerly the king, King Hamlet. So. Uh, the ghost has appeared to Hamlet and told him to avenge his death. So that's what Hamlet came to do. But he found his stepfather, the king, praying. And he didn't want to kill him while he was praying. And he was showing genuine remorse. And Hamlet felt like, well, he'll go to heaven. <laughs> I don't want him to go to heaven. So he's going to kill him later. And that's when uh, the Queen Gertrude comes in with Ophelia. And the scene takes place. She's trying to take him to the wedding. He's supposed to be marrying Ophelia. In the previous scene, he also found out Ophelia's father was in a conspiracy for the murder as well. So that's why he's so emotional. He can't marry Ophelia. And the lines he was saying in French was, get thee to a nunnery, which is one of the more famous lines from Hamlet. The official title is the National Opera Association's Collegiate Opera Scenes Competition. It's kind of a long title. Last year we took third place. This year we bumped up a category. Well, they have two categories. It's not really graduate, undergraduate, but it's older students, younger students. We, we fit into the older student category. So I suspect our competition is going to be a little stiff this year. Well, our big production this spring for the opera program is a full production of an opera entitled Albert Herring by the composer Benjamin Britten from England. It's a comedy. It's a very complex opera. It's, a lot of people feel it's his masterpiece. The thing is, when you hear anything Benjamin Britten wrote, you think it's his masterpiece because he's just tremendous. It also happens to be his 100th birthday, and uh, there's going to be a lot of Benjamin Britten music around the world, and however we can sneak in with that, we're going to. <laughs> Thank 
to the support of our administrators. We've been able to do these full productions in the spring with orchestra, and it's hard to explain to someone who doesn't know how important that is, because singing with an orchestra is completely different than singing with piano. They get to put that on their resume when they apply at universities, and it makes a difference. In fact, we heard back from one of our students who's doing very well, uh, and is also attending the University of North Texas for her master's degree, that singing with the orchestra was just the best thing she could have done to prepare for that, because the other students had not, and we're having to make that adjustment. For our students, it exposes them to opera producers and, most importantly, perhaps, graduate schools. And two of our students who were graduating last year immediately spoke to uh, some graduate schools that were there. One of them ended up going to the University of North Texas after he spoke with a person there. Um, and so it's immediate for them to get that kind of exposure. And um, then for the university, our name is on the national website all year long. Uh, it's great exposure for the entire university. We're in all their publications as being finalists at this competition. How we place really isn't important. The fact that we made finals will be great for us because it will give the university's name. All of, right now, the Portland Opera Guild knows who we are. They have invited us to a reception that they're holding for us. Um, so, you know, it's just exposure for the university. We're very happy about that.